But first, there's only two days to go until the Downton finale. My next guest you will, of course, remember as Footman Jimmy. But now, Ed Spillers has taken oh, on a whole new type of character as he plays Sleen in ITV's brand new fantasy drama, Beowulf, Return to the Shieldlands. The other Thanes arrived for the gathering after the funeral rites. And they will vote for you to succeed Hrothgar. One Thane must rule us all. Why not you? So doubt my father's nomination as his successor. Still smarting that Rothgar passed you over, nephew. If they do, they do not know your mother as I do. It was a bold choice your husband made. People will come round. Give it time. There is no time. Oh, there is no time. Ed Spillers is with me now. That looks really good. Uh, really good. Of course, based on a poem, which is very strange. Yeah, it's originally um, a sort of middle-age mythic poem that was yeah. uh, about 3,000 lines long. So, obviously, in order to create something for, for television, mm. uh, you've got to have a bit of artistic sort of play. Sure, but amazing characters you've got to work with anyway. Tell yeah. me about your character. What's, what, what's he all about? What, so, what do we know? So, I play Sleen, who is, um, as you can see, Joe and Woolley, uh, Reader's son. Um, who you find him at the beginning of the series caught. He, he's going through a, a quite a tempestuous time within his, his own mind. Uh, he's had a, a lifelong battle with his father, uh, who has also stolen. Well, his father's affections have been stolen by Beowulf, uh, and that caused. Oh, so he's bitter and resentful. Yeah, he's got oh, a lot of anger towards right. everybody, really. Right. Okay. Um, but it's not as it's not as sort of clear cut as that. I got gotcha. you. Very great part to play, I would imagine. Yeah. And in the in the glamorous world of showbiz, uh, you filmed it in a quarry, I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Where was this quarry, and how was that? The quarry, um, <laughs> it was its own. Had its own weather system. Um, it was on top of the Pennines in the northeast of England, right. north, well, in well, County Durham. Mm. Uh, and I mean, one minute we'd be having snow, next minute rain, next minute sunshine. But, I mean, it, it lent uh, for me. It lent itself to to what we were trying to create. Uh, and I, I think it's. It, it's sometimes good to put yourself through uh, sure. some oh. harsh No, absolutely. Well, it, it sort of lends itself to the whole, yeah. the whole thing, you know. It, re it really does. And all this, I mean, there's a, a lot of fantasy in there. There's a lot of CGI. We're going to see some strange creatures. Definitely. You know, it's a very, very different world, isn't it? Yes, I think. I mean, I think that's one of the things that drew me in early on when I was talking to producers about doing this was yeah. their sense of ambition for it. And I know, knowing that Tim Haynes, the, one of the exec producers, had, had encountered this world. I mean, his speciality is. Amazing. Creating creatures like yeah, that. So that's incredible. His I mean, there was a movie made of this, and I think what, watching, having seen it, it is very cinematic. You know, it's kind of, I think I think viewers are expecting a lot more now on, on TV. They want it to to look like a movie. I think you're absolutely yeah. right. I think that's one of the the key things is in order. There is so much. There is so much content out there and across the world at the mm. moment. That in order to to hook an audience in, you've you've, you've got to make things bigger and bolder. Yeah. And I think that was one of the that, again that was one of the things that drew me into this project yeah. was the sense of ambition that although you know and you've got to bear in mind it's still a family show it's a pre watershed no, show absolutely. but in order to create yeah. something on a much grander scale. So it's uh, Sunday night seven o'clock, which is. is which is a great slot actually. January third. Yeah, so January third. Yeah, yeah, it's starting a good the new slot. Year. Yeah, it's yeah. a great time because you hope that most people are in and it's it's dark early and it's a really good time to all sort of and everybody down. can sit down and, and watch yeah. it all together. Which and there's is, themes for everybody, which know? is great. Light years away from. Downton, which is probably yeah. another reason why you wanted to do it as well. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, it's it's very important. Certainly, was I mean, I'm still very, you know, I feel very young, uh, uh, very young actor. It's really important That's to awesome. try and do as many things as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I've, I've had a great time playing playing Jimmy, but this this was I wanted to do something as as far no, as I possibly of course. could. And it's the end of Downton anyway, it is. which is I mean, nobody's been talking about it for ages. But of course, um, Christmas Day. Christmas is is going to be the last ever one. Will you be able, will you be watching or will you be working? I, it's my son's uh, first Christmas, so I, I think ah, my, he will get my undivided off, attention. Yeah. The telly be off. <laughs> what age is he? He's going to be one in January. Oh, so, so is he is he's he sort of old morning, enough? Is he, be, why is my daddy enough? Yeah, 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 yeah probably. What's going on here? What's going on? That is going to be strange when he grows up and sees you in lots of different roles. It will be it will be strange for him. Strange or embarrassing, perhaps? No. Yeah. Okay, the, the European, that's for that's for your role. Is to embarrass your children? Is he old enough to sort of? Know what's going on? Has he got a wee bit of an idea? Because uh, I suppose it won, it's difficult, isn't it's, it? I mean, certainly not with Christmas, but he, he understands in terms of understanding things through through a screen. I, I mean, I noticed when we when I was filming in Northumberland, a lot of the time I was having to Skype him back home, uh, him and my partner. Yeah. And he definitely he sort of he would look at me, and then he would look at his mum, and then he would look back at me as though something's going on. Something's there. going on yeah. here. But he'll grow up with it. And it's his normality, isn't it? Well, and you're going to be in a show that I'm sure he'll love, which is Alice in Wonderland. Yes. Yeah. I mean, again, yeah. That so that's. 
we shot that last year. That's coming out in May. Uh, yeah, that was a, a lovely thing to be a part of. Uh, I, I think I went and did some ADR for it recently. And I mean, it, yeah, I mean, what's ADR? Brilliant. It's ADR is sort of audio digital recording. Ooh. So you go back and record your voice if, ah, if right, right, you've right, had dodgy right, right, sound right. on the day. Oh, I see. Oh, so I'm getting, I'm learning things all there the time. What are you and Alison Wonder? I play James Harcourt, who uh, is effect. He works for the. Cl he's a clerk working for Hamish, right. who is the character that. Um, Alice was betrothed to uh, in the first oh, one. Right, okay. He was a bit of a nasty so and so, right. uh, and I, I worked for him. And actually, when Alice comes back into the, because I'm based in the real world, mm. so when she comes back from the Wonderland, uh, I, I'm quite taken by her. Not not in a sort of not an attracted way, but just uh, I think intellectually quite taken by her because it's someone that's thinking differently to everything oh, else that's going you. on around. Oh, it's, it's a really different take on it, really is. But before that, we've got Babe Wolf, as we said, January yes. 3rd, ITV, 7 o'clock. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. Really lovely to see lovely you. Lovely to see you. And have well. a smashing Christmas with your wee boy. And I know, I'm very, I'm, get, I'm very excited about it. It's going Christmas. to be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Thank you, Thank you very much. And after the break, we are looking back at all the big